Hello Internet, I'm Mihai. It is the ninth episode of the Jenkins Pipeline tutorial. In this video, I will connect the Hello World Pipeline to a shared library. Let's start the Jenkins server. Open VirtualBox and start the server headless. And wait two minutes. The server should be running. Open the browser. Go to Jenkins page. And login. Write your username. Write the password. And I am logged in. I need a new GitHub repository to store the shared library. Go to GitHub. Click on new repository. Write the repository name. It is Jenkins. Pipeline. Tutorial. Underscore underscore pipeline. Dash shared. Dash lib. No description. The repository should be public. No readme file. No git ignore template. No license. Create repository. The repository is created. Now open your file explorer. Create a new folder pipeline shared lib. Open the folder and open the terminal in this folder. Check if the path is correct. On Windows you write dir. On Linux you write print working directory, pwd. The path is good. Now I will start running the commands from GitHub. Open GitHub. Copy the first command git init. Past it, run it. Copy the second command. I will not add the readme file because I want to create a git ignore file. So open your file explorer and create a new file. Dot git ignore. Enter. Go to GitHub, copy git add command, past it. Space and write your git ignore file. Enter. Write git status. The file was added to the stage. Open GitHub. Commit your changes. Pass the command. Enter. Check git status. Nothing to commit, it means the file was committed. Open GitHub, rename the branch to main, enter. Now the branch name is main. Open GitHub, add the remote. I use SSH protocol, so I will replace HTTPS by SSH. Copy the command, pass it, enter, and now push everything to GitHub. Copy the last command, pass it, and push. Open GitHub and refresh the page. You see, here is the git ignore file and the commit message. I will write the shared library code in IntelliJ. It is not mandatory. You can write your code wherever you want, in VS Code, in Notepad++, or in a web editor. It doesn't matter. As I decided to use IntelliJ, I need Groovy for auto-completion. Open your favorite search website and search for Groovy. Open the first link. Click on download. When I was recording, this was the last stable version. It wants me to download a zip file. I agree. 
open the folder where the zip file was downloaded, extract it here, and it was extracted. I want to save the link in the configuration repository. Open utils.md file, I already opened it, write a new line and type groovy download open the browser and copy the link paste it save the file check the preview everything is good close the preview now go to git changes Check the file, the new line was added, close the working tree, add the file to the stage and write the commit message. Edit, groovy, installation, link, new line, first, shared, library. Commit and push. Now I open IntelliJ, let's close it, let's close the pipeline project, open IntelliJ again, click new project, for location select our new shared library repository. It is this folder, click OK, copy the name, paste it here, and remove the name from the location. IntelliJ will check if the pipeline shared library folder exists, and if it exists, IntelliJ will save all the files in that folder. Select Groovy. As Groovy SDK specify the downloaded zip file or more exactly, the extracted zip file. On my computer, it is folder TMP, user TMP, Groovy. Click OK. Advanced settings is nothing. And click Create. The project was created. Let's check it in the File Explorer. Here is the folder. It was populated with some folders and files. But I want to delete the SRC folder. I don't need it. I will check the git changes. And here I see git wants to add to the repository some IntelliJ files. I need to ignore them. Open git ignore. Write a comment, hashtag IDE. First, write the path to the IDEA folder. And the second line, put the IML file. Just rename it to copy the name. I copy the name and paste it in the git ignore. Save it. Open git changes. Check the git ignore file. I see I added two files, more exactly one folder and one file. Apply the changes and close the compare view. I want to write the first shared script. For that, I need to use the official documentation. Open your favorite browser, close the redundant tabs, and search for Jenkins shared. Library. Open the first link. This page is very important. I will put the link in the description. If you plan working with Jenkins, you have to read it. Read the entire page. Don't make my mistake to read it partially. A long time ago, I decided to read quickly just some chapters. And trust me, I had to come back and read the entire page. Everything here is important. Back to the topic. Scroll down to directory structure. Zoom in a bit. 
and here you can see the folders Jenkins is looking in for the code. In my case, I need the VARS folder. The VARS directory hosts script files that are exposed as a variable in the pipelines. So copy the name, paste it in IntelliJ, new directory, paste it, close the git ignore, and let's create the first script. New file, write the name show server time dot groovy enter add the file to git and write public it means the method will be exposed in jenkins public is not mandatory but i like to write it void it means the method will retard nothing and the method name call this name is very important. Jenkins looks for the call method in each file, so it has to be call. You cannot write here what you want. I also want the method to accept one input. It will be string variable and the variable name additional message. Also, the default value of the additional message will be an empty string. Open the method body and let's write the code. Open Jenkins. Open your pipeline. Open pipeline syntax. Click on snippet generator and search for sh. sh means shell script. Click advanced. For label, you write print server time and in the script you write date now click generate pipeline script copy it open intellij and pass the script i want to make some aesthetic changes put everything in parentheses i like it more Copy the script and paste it first, before label. It doesn't change the logic, I just like more how it looks like. So the question is, what does date do? Let's check it. Copy it, open the terminal, open the temporary tab, paste here the command, press enter, and you see it just prints the current date and time. Go back to IntelliJ, add a new line, echo, echo is printing something to the console, and write additional message, colon, space, plus additional message. So the first line will invoke a shell script which will print the current date and time. The second line will print to the console additional message. Save the file, open git changes, check the changes in show server time, everything is good, close the changes, add the file to the stage and write the commit message, create it, show server time script. New line, first shared library. Click commit. Now open the terminal. Open the tab with your project. Clear the terminal. And let's push everything to GitHub. Git push. It looks like I didn't commit the changes. Indeed, it wasn't committed. It tells me I have three warnings. I will ignore them and commit. So my changes now are committed. Open the terminal again and push. By the way, I didn't say it in the previous video, but I think you already understood it. You need a GitHub account to continue the tutorial. Go to GitHub. 
refresh the page. Here you have the VARS folder, and in the VARS folder, it is the show server time file. And here I have the script. Let's connect Jenkins to the shared lib repository. Go to Jenkins global configuration. Configure system. Scroll down to global pipeline libraries. It is here. I will zoom in a bit. Let's add the new library. Click add. As library name, you can write anything you want, and I want to write pipeline shared lib. For default version, I will write the branch name main. Don't select include library changes in job recent changes. Select modern source control. Select git. For project repository, you need the URL to your GitHub repository. Go to GitHub, click on code, select HTTPS, copy it, go back to Jenkins and paste it. The repository is public, so you don't need credentials to fetch from GitHub. Scroll down, no behaviors, no library path, click save. As the next step, I will use the shared library in the Jenkins file. Open the pipeline project. I need to open a new IntelliJ. Open with IntelliJ. It is the Hello World Jenkins file. Create a new stage show server time. Create the stage body, write steps, write script. Let's call the show server time. For that, open the first IntelliJ, copy the file name, I copied it, passed it in the script. Open parentheses to call the method. New line. Pass the method again. And now I will pass the additional message. Message from. And passed here the epic name. Semicolon. Save the file. The stage is ready, but the pipeline still doesn't know where to look for show server time method. Let's help the pipeline to find the method. In the first line, write at library, open parentheses, and here I need to pass the library name. Go to Jenkins, go to global configuration, scroll down to the shared library, copy the library name. Open IntelliJ, paste here the library name, add, and the branch name. Write space underscore. Save the file. Also, this information you will find in the documentation. I will show it to you. Here is how to configure the library, and here is how to use it. Open IntelliJ. I want also to tell you about the agent line. In this tutorial, I run the pipeline on the main Jenkins server. So any will always choose the main server. But in case you have many additional worker servers connected to Jenkins, you would want to specify a specific pool of servers. And in that case, you will write here anything but any. All right, Jenkins file is ready. Let's commit it. Go to git changes, check the file changes. I edit the library and I am okay with it. Also, I wrote a new stage. All changes are applied. 
write the commit message, show server time from a shared library. New line, first shared library. Commit. Commit anyway. It was pushed to GitHub. Go to Jenkins pipeline. It is Hello World repository pipeline. Build with parameters. For epic name, you write Lina. Age 26. Click build. Wait three seconds. You see it is still in progress. It is done. Refresh the page. You have the third build. Click on the circle to open the logs. Here I have the information that I pulled to the Jenkins file from GitHub. Here is the URL. Below is the information I used a shared library. And here is the URL where I pulled the shared library from. And here is the branch name. Scroll down. Here I have the logs hello from GitHub. Next logs are the greetings for Lina. She is 26 years old. And here is the stage print server time. First was the command date and I printed the current date on the server. I had no additional message. And the second call for the show server time was also printing the date. And it showed the additional message from Lina. It is all. Now your pipeline uses a shared library. Thank you for watching.